I think that um, I have uh, not been an active editor of, uh, of heart disease. Uh, and this is the second edition, uh, although I do author a chapter in it. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, of course, uh, I remain very, very much involved. And I uh, have spent a lot of time on one of the features of the book, namely uh, the electronic version of the book. And uh, uh, the concept behind that is we want this to be a living textbook. In order to be a living textbook, there's new information that comes out almost on a daily basis. And uh, uh, what we do is we have the opportunity to inspect the table of contents of the major journals about a month or six weeks ahead of time. Select the articles. Uh, I mean, they uh, they can't be posted, but select the articles and summarize them. We have a very skilled medical writer, uh, Deborah Beck, who prepares them all. So I select them. I give her the selection. She prepares the uh, article, and then I edit it. And then, as soon as uh, possible, and as soon as permissible, they're posted. And uh, so we think uh, we post about, uh, I guess we looked at it, uh, an average of about five new articles or clinical trials a week on larger subjects that change between editions. Uh, we have some, something called focus reviews. And these focus reviews are invited uh, articles, uh, not too long, <laughs> about eight or ten um, uh, uh, double space pages with uh, a couple of figures on the table, uh, so that when new concepts arise that, that, that would clearly be accepted in the next edition of the book, uh, we have the readers, we provide access to that. And one of the most important things with this aspect of the project is to place it at the right portion of the text. So instead of just having, okay, what came up uh, in the literature during the past month in one place, it's irrelevant. But if you, for example, have a, um, a chapter on hypertension, and we have a section on resistant hypertension. There will be a new paper on uh, a new device called a carotid sinus stimulator that appears, uh, let's say, a year from now. It's going to be linked to the paragraph on resistant hypertension so that when somebody reads that, they say, ah, ah. In addition to what people thought in um, 2011, here's something that happened not in March 2011, but in November 2011. How you doing? Would you like us to sign? Please. Good. It's a pleasure to meet you. We'll start with the chief. Fine. And once it gets going, to David. <laughs> Um, Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, program here, actually. Yeah. Dr. Desser. Oh, sure. Yeah. How's he doing? He's very good. Always talks about him. <laughs> well, only believe the good things. Yes, please. Yeah, I can see that. Here, but I want to get these. Thank you very much. Uh, look, you got to get these. Two. Absolutely. Guys, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to see you. Happy reading. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Good luck. I think it's it's a this is a unbelievable opportunity given by Elsevier to meet Dr. Brumwald, Dr. Lavi, Dr. Bono. 
Um, Boomwall's book is like a, a Bible for our field, basically, and uh, it's just a great honor, pleasure to meet him and uh, you know have him sign this book uh, and uh, you know enjoy it. And I think looking into way off into the future, into how we communicate, I think that uh, this is a hybrid. Uh, this is a hybrid. I want this. support uh, from the company and uh, I think I had great support from the editors and uh, I think that um, as I have gone through the night division, I've had it now for about six weeks and I use it all the time. I use it in uh, my practice, I use it in my research and also I use it in trying to place in this um, how about the dresses of the features? <laughs> and therefore, naturally, I agree. And, you know, I agree with spots of it. I think it's a terrific position. I think it's just a terrific position. So, I so, think, uh, Doc Sipes, and uh, Bob, and uh, Peter, and uh, Dr. Ann, I think they've done a spectacular job. I'm enormously grateful to them. Uh, so this handoff of his work has allowed me to do something else. Two things I'd like to say. First of all, was the handoff and how easy that went. And that, you stop and think about it, this was Dr. Brownwald's baby. He created it. He built it to what it uh, achieved the most prominence of any cardiology textbook in the world and handed it off to us to do with his guidance, but nevertheless, that that went very smoothly and, and was very significant. One other new feature that we're just starting were podcasts. Uh, when, uh, after this meeting, we will interview the uh, presenters of major uh, scientific advances, trials, or whatever and have an audio uh, podcast that will be available on the website. Uh, we did that as a start after the last AHA meeting. We will do it again after this meeting, and that also will help separate this book from any other cardiology textbook. The, uh, the, the, ninth, the ninth edition marks the 30th anniversary of the first edition. And, uh, Dr. Brownwald's uh, leadership of this textbook through the last three decades has set a new standard for quality, for accuracy, for the best writing, and uh, indeed uh, we've all learned from Dr. Brownwald. We're trying to maintain the same level of quality. We believe we're doing this, but uh, it's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Dr. Brownwald has been here to help us all the way, and it's his vision that you've heard to move into the electronic age and make this a living textbook, which really makes the, the Brownwald family books, not just the mothership, but also the companion volumes, truly living textbooks. We've all learned from Dr. Brownwald, and uh, we continue to learn from his leadership. Hi. Jack Bandura. Pretty good. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, you have one? Natasha has one. Natasha has one. How are you doing? Busy. 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 How's you go? Uh, <laughs> You are one of the idols of him. And he sometimes and he told us, yes, and he told us stories that you yeah. tell him. Yeah. Like the ones that you went with your wife to the cinema and lived with your wife and came back home because you remember the exact word, the abstract, yeah. of your title. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>